Hello and welcome everyone. We are at Governor's Hill in North Toronto. I'm Paul Mirage. And I'm Christian Vermast and we are from Sotheby's International Realty Canada. Well, this is a very special apartment we're going to show you today. Christian and I see a lot of condo apartments. This one is large and absolutely sensational. So Governor's Hill is the name of the building. We are actually Governor's Hill 2, which was the later phase. And we're at 3600 Young Street. The building was built 20 years ago, um, 10 stories high, 120 units, and it's truly a full amenity, sort of five-star luxury hotel feel-like condominium building. It's a lifestyle. It's where lifestyle meets living. We have here a valet parking, concierge, 24-hour security. This suite comes with four lockers and four premium parking spots. So Paul, you said we see a lot of apartments and condos and this is really unique and especially with the space we stand in here is very unique. Well, this connects the entire apartment. So there's a grandeur to this foyer and look up at the ceiling. It is done with silver leaf. The design firm that did this apartment is called the Design Co. And wait till you see all the attention to detail and design is rather incredible. So Paul, let's explore this gorgeous living room. It feels like we're walking into a hotel lobby. Well, it's a double living room. Well, on hotels, the, the owners here love Kit Camp Hotels in London, England. It has that feeling, that luxury. I love all the layers in this room, from the paneled walls to the gas fireplace with the more traditional mantle. But look at that little alcove over here and we can see nothing but trees and, and leaves. The views are incredible everywhere in this apartment. So this was the developer's own unit when it was first built. So the developer chose the most special location in the building and everywhere the views are incredible onto the ravine and the beautiful fall colors. So speaking of which, the building was developed by Tridal and is still managed by the management company called Dell. Should we venture into the dining room, which is not less spectacular than the living room? Paul, we could entertain 20 of our top clients in here. This table, I, don't you love a round table I in a love dining room? It. There's no head of the table, everyone is part of the conversation. And that little, and again, we Sam, look outside. It's truly a painting of nature when you sit here. Now in all of the rooms, there's a Crestron home automation system here that controls everything from security to lighting to cameras and the shades and window coverings. So at a touch of the button, they go up and they go down. And we have an upgraded CAT6 system here. The flooring, as you'll see here in the living room, dining room, kitchen is walnut. It's a, the coloration is spectacular. And there's a mahogany inlay in the dining room. The flooring here is just magnificent. Let's go into the kitchen. It's great how strategically located this kitchen is. So we have an access point to the dining room. We have an access point for the casual family room or breakfast room. And yet, a hostess would see their guests coming and going. It's, it's, it's you're, beautiful. You're part of the action. And there's an elevator here. There's a private elevator over here that brings you upstairs. So when you're entertaining on the 2,500 square foot rooftop terrace, you can put beverages and food in the elevator. In fact, the upstairs terrace feels like 3,000 square feet because the building has beautiful plantings all around. All the appliances in this kitchen are media appliances, except for we have a Sub-Zero wine station and a spectacular Sub-Zero fridge and freezer system. The Which you find more in a house than in a condo. So this because of the scale of them, yes. the 30 inch freezer and the 36 inch fridge. There is also a steam oven for those who are eating healthier these days, great for fish and vegetables. And look up here, how many condos have skylights? Zero, this one has a number of skylights and they were also replaced with this massive renovation that was completed just about two years ago. There's a small prep kitchen just behind this kitchen, which we won't show you, but it is a pantry and a prep kitchen just behind us that keeps your counters nice and clean. Let's go into the family room that's just off the kitchen, which is located in the northwest corner of the apartment. The family room has one of the four gas fireplaces in the suite and has a walkout to a small balcony. What I like here is that the coffee, the Miller coffee machine 
that's built in and it has a warming door it's right here. So you can have a cup of coffee and come in here and read the morning paper. I'm surprised you didn't mention the bar behind you, that that was pretty close. <laughs> well, I want to show you, on the note of bar, come look at this color. The color is called black ink. It almost appears like there's a little bit of blue in it. Isn't it spectacular? All of the cabinetry throughout this apartment, bathrooms, kitchen, was done by Downs View. We talked about the black ink color for the cabinetry. You'll see how it ties in. We're back in the foyer here and look at the pavers. They're honed marble and they are absolutely exquisite. It looks like a cobblestone street in Europe. It's quite a dramatic foyer. Let's show you the library. Well, this is the study or library. This room is very, very cozy. Again, the coloration here is the black ink. What I think is very clever is the wall covering looks like grass cloth, but it is a very durable wall covering. As we all have gotten very comfortable working from home, what a vista to look out onto while you're on a Zoom call, while you're on your computer, once in a while you peek up and again, it feels like you're in a tree house. You've got the scale of these windows, it's incredible. And we have nature, we're in the heart of a city. We're in Hogs Hollow, one of Toronto's premier neighborhoods. In fact, my mother-in-law lives a couple buildings over. It is a terrific location for access to the 401 and then the old city limits, when it, the old city of Toronto is at the top of the hill. Restaurants, Loblaws, everything you need. It's a terrific and convenient location. Well, we're walking down the main hallway towards the primary bedroom and second bedroom. Look at this beautiful powder room. It's done in two rooms, so there's a private water closet and the floating down view cabinetry. That marble is spectacular, as is the wallpaper. We are now in the primary apartment of uh, Penthouse 34. So Paul, why don't I go into the primary bedroom and I'll meet you later in the uh, family room of the okay. bedroom. You'll see that this primary bedroom has multiple wings. It's quite incredible. And look at the gorgeous wall covering by Scalamandra. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so let's walk into the bedroom space, which again is beautifully layered. There's an, a sense of sexiness, but coziness. Again, both windows overlook at trees. We have a traditional mantle surrounding a gas fireplace. I love the color and the texture of this grass cloth on the walls. It gives it a sense of coziness in here. I could get used reading the Sunday Times in these Eames chairs in the corner of my new primary master bedroom. Through these double pocket doors, we're entering into a very intimate and lovely space. This is the lady's study, the lady of the house. Note the shape of the window here, it's incredible. This is south facing, so very, very sunny. This space is perfect for anyone who has different sleep schedules because it's right off of the primary bedroom and there's a lovely sitting area, built-in office area, and part of the Crestron home automation system, you'll see the two built-in speakers here. There are built-in speakers throughout the apartment and it's all controlled from your smartphone device or one of the control units throughout the apartment. Let's join Christian in the wonderful dressing and bathroom area. Hello, hello. What I really like about this apartment, among many things, is that we actually have equal walk-in closets. One is not larger than the other, so husband and wife are both uh, equally spoiled in terms of storage space. So I'm going in the ladies' one, of course fully equipped with shoe storage and lots of hanging and long hanging stuff, and then Paul is behind me and he's in the gentleman's closet. Well, Christian, you know that I have tons of shoes, so there's lots of open shelves here for shoes, wonderful hanging area, beautiful closet space. You're going to love the ensuite bathroom. On our way to the primary ensuite bath, just quickly note, conveniently located laundry room. Oh, I love the look of these heated marble floors, big size slabs. And the marble here is Tassos. It is the whitest of white marble that you can get. It surrounds the soaker top and it's on the countertop of the vanity as well. And again, all the cabinetry was done with Downsview Kitchens. What a magnificent hotel-like, spa-like shower. It is a spa. Look at that rain shower head, wow. There's a floating bench, again done in the Tassos marble, 
and this converts into a steam chamber. I think you hit the nail on the head when you said hotel, Christian. This yeah. entire space yeah. is very hotel-like. It's very luxurious. Even the soaker top, we have ample of storage and this uh, vanity with two under-mounted sinks, lots of space in between, which for, again, for Conway is unusual. This is more and more as we walk through this space, it feels like we're in a forest hill home. It has a scale of, all the rooms have the scale of a, a major home. The apartment has three bedrooms. This is one of them. Each of the bedrooms has its own private ensuite bathroom, beautifully done. And note in the shower, there's a zero threshold as you enter. That's very difficult to do in a condo setting. And you can just tell that the attention to detail here is incredible. We're going to quickly show you the control center of the house. This is the Crestron home automation system that controls absolutely everything. Music, we talked about security, cameras, temperature, it's incredible. We're going to head up the staircase and join Christian upstairs. I want to point out that this apartment has its own independent heating and cooling system. So for anyone who has allergies or is concerned about breathing health, this, the systems here also have Sanivac systems, which kill 99.9% .9 of airborne viruses. It's an ultra clean environment for breathing. So we're on the second level of this 5,400 square foot apartment. Christian, where are you? I'm here. I think I found my favorite spot. Oh my God, for anybody who really enjoys natural light, who wants calm, trees. Can you imagine just sitting here opening all the windows? Like it feels like we are in our own little bungalow up here. It is. It's, a, it's almost like an independent suite. If you have overnight guests or you have someone who stays a while or as an aging in place, if you have a, a full-time caregiver, they can live on this floor with the third bedroom bathroom and this wonderful media room. And not that you need it because this building has a fabulous gym, it has a pool, it has gas suites, it has whatever you can imagine a condo building would have as amenities. But this would be a fabulous home gym. It's right now we have sort of a bar system um, set up, big television, fireplace. You can make this room whatever you want it to be. Well, this is very clever as we go outside to the terrace. The terrace, again, is about 2,500 square feet about 3,000 if you include all the landscaping around, but easy access here with wet bar, beverage fridge, and wine fridge, and the beautiful cabinetry, again, done by Downsview Kitchens. Before we head out, let's see the final bedroom in this suite. And here we are on the second floor of this magnificent condo, Panto 34 at 3600 Young Street. This is our final and third bedroom. Beautiful suite. Windows overlooking our 2,500 square foot rooftop garden. Wow, another luxurious ensuite bath. This one was a huge glass shower. Mosaic tile white marble flooring, rain shower head. We some come out here in the upper foyer, the upper hallway. Note here's the door to the private elevator. And we showed you the access from the kitchen for food, drink, and anyone with mobility issues. A spectacular bay window and this beautiful staircase with a contemporary wool runner that runs up. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful apartment in the city. Well, there's quite the story here on the upper terrace. They had cranes to lift all of the materials and all of the furnishings here. Then they had to close the street. You talked about clean air and, and air purification system. Wow, but you just come out here, you take a deep breath and you're good to go. What's incredible here in this space is you've got a series of sitting areas and these pergolas, Christian, I think they come from your motherland, Europe. So they must be the best. They must be the best. <laughs> the two pergolas are incredible because the screens come down and the ceilings automatically close if it's raining. So you can sit in full sun or if it's too hot or raining, you can close the ceilings. Quite the incredible structure. They're basically luxury cabanas that feel like rooms. Uh, when they closed off. Then we have a full integrated outdoor kitchen here with a beautiful barbecue. Um, we have a water feature that's not on right now, but you'll see it in our video roll. It's a standalone party environment. And there's even a little green space for your dog. This is a very pet friendly building, so the dog can come. It's like a, your own backyard. 
And because of the positioning in the building and the rooftop clearly shows us how many view, unobstructed views we have because we're actually having a southeast view here. So we can start with the sun, we can have it all day and then it sets over there at night. Fabulous vistas all throughout. What I like about this space is when we see condos, you're always looking into another condo, another building, an office building. Here, it's just nature all around with the ravine and trees. It's such a spectacular setting. Well, Christian, this is such a large and beautiful apartment. I think we should do a bit of a recap for our audience today. Absolutely. I think the space really stands for sophistication, um, timeless design and architecture and room proportion. Anyone coming from a large home will be very comfortable here with all of the abundantly proportioned rooms. Again, the apartment is about 5,400 square feet. The outdoor space with the landscaping beyond is just under 3,000 square feet. It is magnificent in every regard. We have four car parking, three bedrooms, all with their own ensuite. We have a primary bedroom apartment with its own family room attached to it. We have a chef's kitchen with a little prep kitchen and a family slash breakfast room just off the side. Well, you saw the his and hers walk-in closets and we have his and hers home offices and studies as well. It's an apartment that would suit anyone who loves to be in the city with great airport access, great access to our highway systems, very conveniently located. Feels like you're in nature because we're in Hogs Hollow and then you have city amenities just about 500 meters away. Thank you for joining us and please continue following us, especially Paul and Christian Talk Real Estate, our series, and follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channels at paulandchristian.com. Well, we hope that you enjoyed seeing this penthouse as much as we've enjoyed being here and having you. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.